Bruh. Oh my goodness. Bruh, when I tell you that I hate this man and I think that he may be the Antichrist, I genuinely believe it, okay? <laughs> I genuinely believe Gavin Newsom may be the Antichrist because this is some wicked, diabolical stuff going on right now. So, y'all know I did a video on him vetoing the bill for black people to reclaim stolen property, okay, eminent domain, that it was taken from black people uh, due to racism. Hey, I don't like you, you're black, give me the property. He vetoed that bill, right? And y'all know that he had his hand in the, the bill dying on the floor when it came to the reparations bill that the California Legislative Black Caucus was supposed to push through, okay? That Bradford, Stephen Bradford, created and was supposed to push through. Both of those bills, one he killed, the other he vetoed. And they, they wanted to say that we were afraid that he was gonna veto it, but yada, yada, yada. He already vetoed the other one. Y'all know what bill out of the reparations package? The reparations package. How are you gonna have a reparations package if only one of the bill actually does anything for reparations? Hell, two of the bills. And the two bills, you killed one and he vetoes the other. Hmm? Make that make sense. Now, the bill that he did sign, this vile, wicked, evil individual, okay? This just monster. He signs a bill that has California apologizing for slavery. <laughs> sorry. We're sorry. I'm deeply sorry. Bro, <laughs> if it wasn't... If it wasn't so funny, bruh, I shouldn't be laughing, but it is hysterical. It is absolutely hysterical. He vetoes all the bills that could help us and then gives us an apology. He gives us an apology bill. And you wanna know what's something? If you look at the picture, you know who's not there? Stephen Bradford, the person who actually created the, authored the two bills that would actually help us for reparation. But you want to know who is? Reggie Jones Sawyer. This man is, you want to know who that man is? I, I'm sure some of y'all remember him. Because please, come November, come November, please remember this man. All you Californians, okay, please remember this man. Reggie Jones Sawyer. Get this man out of the Black Caucus. We need to get all of them out of the Black Caucus, but especially him. This is the same man that when the bill for reparations died on the floor, he was the one smiling and going like a damn fool. That's that man, mocking, mocking black people who are actually being politically active, who are actually doing what they were supposed to do, their civic duties, okay? Trying to get as far as people who are supposed to be helping us, right? The Black Caucus. Imagine the Black Caucus actually turns out to be the White Caucus. <laughs> that's, that's what it turns out to be. You have these Sambos, right? These Sambos who are put in these positions. And then you have him who's, who's praising Gavin Newsom for signing the bill. He gets his little picture with Massa smiling, right? Right next to Gavin Newsom, he's smiling. Of course, Gavin Newsom's smiling. He can't help but smile. That's what, it, it, demon, bro. He has to let go of some of the evil spirits. I think he does that through showing his teeth. This is what's happening, okay? That, I told you all, this is, this is why I really can't stand Larry Elder. Okay, I can't stand for a litany of things. But him actually helping Gavin Newsom when we tried so hard to recall him and get him off uh, out of here, bro, and him doing something like this. And then to have Reggie Jones Sawyer, bro. Lori Wilson, another one who's the chair of the Black Caucus. All of those Sambos have got to go. They, this is what I'm talking about. Now, if we had been any other group, as I showed you, when it came to the Jewish people, he didn't have a problem giving Jewish people back stolen property, right? He didn't have a problem. He was signing. He, he was probably sweating while he was signing. He was like, I'm signing as fast as I can. But when it comes to black people, you see how he vetoes bills and disrespects us. Why? Because we have Sambos who allow this disrespect. We have these old heads in office who allow this disrespect. And as I've told you all before, this is a sign of extinction. This is what this looks like, is extinction, all right? If we do not get active in this political arena, if we don't vote these mofos out, if we don't apply pressure to them, what does that relay to everyone else? Gavin Newsom just relayed to us, hey, these Negroes, they're good ones, okay? They do, that, they do as I say. 
They ain't going to give me a hard time, right? They ain't going to press me. They're the good ones, so we're going to keep them in power, all right? That's what we're going to do. It is up to us to get these mofos out by any means necessary, okay? It is up to us to get them out. We get them out. We get actual some people who are going to fight for us, which is what they're supposed to do in the Black Caucus, all right? But I want you to understand this is really happening on a national level. It's really happening everywhere. Because you remember the, the Fearless Fund that, that, that they tried to attack for the black woman? Okay, you remember the Fearless Fund that was supposed to be giving out uh, uh, loans to black women to start, you know, to invest in their businesses and they got that shut down, the races? Guess what? You, do you remember as far as the Latino Fund being shut down? Do you, do you recall that? Because there is a Latino fund that they give money to Latino pl uh, people to invest in their businesses. They didn't say anything about that. So when I say this is a, a, a concerted effort to attack and erase black people, that's what that is. They are attempting to go for anything that they even believe possibly, ostensibly may help black people. We see this with affirmative action, okay? And we need to cause some good legal trouble. That's what needs to happen, all right? I saw more more energy being directed at uh, Eric Adams. And I know he's not the, you know, the, 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 the <laughs> I said Chicago in the video, my bad, my bad, my bad. Chicago, New York, I understand, my bad, okay? I saw more energy directed at Eric Adams than I've seen at any, any white politician. Than I've seen at any, any House member, any Senate member, anyone. Anyone that, 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 would, that would actually have an impact on them feeling the pressure of, hey, we're upsetting some people. We're upsetting our constituents because that's what needs to happen. I know money talks, but there's a lot of ways to if money talks, there's a lot of ways to silence that baby. OK, there's a lot of ways to, to hush that, that, that money up. We have got to become educated in this game. Because if we don't, we're going to see this time and time again, because if they all these mofos of the Black Caucus, if not one of them gets yeeted, then we're a joke. We're a joke. We're, that's that's what everyone's going to see. Gavin Newsom's going to see it. Uh, 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 other Republicans are going to see it. Other Democrats are going to see it. And, and the abuse, the abuse is going to constantly continue because they know that, hey, we can treat these black people however we want. And the only thing they'll do is not vote. OK, we'll just replace your vote. Right. If all if you can steal money from someone and the only thing they'll do is just complain about you. Right. If you can go to, to someone's house, rob them clean. And the only thing they'll do is, well, they're not going to invite you into the to their next birthday party. Wait, what? That's it? You're not going to call the cops on me. You're not going to press charges. You're not going to sue me. All you're going to do is just not talk to me in four years. You just you just going to give me the silent treatment in four years. OK, bet. Absolutely. All day. Imagine you go and rob a bank and that's what they do. Well, we're just not going to allow you to enter in four years. But after the four years, you can come back in because I think you've learned your lesson. So I want you to understand that's what you're relaying to people. That's what we're, us as a collective, are relaying to people when we talk about, well, I ain't gonna vote, okay? Well, they ain't done nothing for me. Well, I'm gonna just sit down, okay, family? That's a trick bag. That's what you're relaying to people. If all you're doing is complaining, all right? If all you're doing is complaining and you're passive in your complaint, which is not voting, right? If that's, if that's the worst they have to deal with, that's nothing, bro. You, we need to be actively complaining. We need to be actively letting our, our disdain shown. That's what that needs to happen. Like, hey, I don't agree with what you did. I'm going to protest you until until you die, bro. I'm going to protest until you die or until you're out of office, whichever comes first. I don't care. I'm going to protest this mofo. We're going to cause a problem in every press conference you have. They're going to have us right outside and we're going to be there. And the Republicans are going to be there. If y'all won't talk to us, they're going to talk to us. And we're going to make y'all look bad. And we're going to get more and more and more people so that you can't ignore us. You may be able to ignore three, but you won't be able to ignore 10, 20, 50. And we can, you can organize for dumb rallies, right? If you can do a reparation rally, then surely we can have that same fervor, that same energy towards actual things that will push the needle forward. Anyways, guys, that's the video. Um, there is no disagreement here. There really isn't, all right? We have got to show uh, our political savviness or we're going to go extinct. Simply complaining and complaining is not enough. We have got to understand, hey, when is their, when is their term up? When are they up for re-election? Hey, who are they getting money from? Hey, when the next press conference they have? Hey, where are they going to be? That's what needs to happen. We need to become a thorn in their side.
That's, that's how that works, bro. We either need to come as far as mobilize and organize and get that done. Or like I said, we just, we just in Twitter spaces talking about uh, tangibles and stuff. That, that's it. So if you happen to disagree, I, I don't see why, you know where to find me. Friday the Sunday, disagreement day, you call in, we'll duke it out. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And all that fun stuff. Till next time, guys. Be amazing.